Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the Buff Jarvis by Sorcery Synthetics and Mobula Mobula. Buff Jarvis is, as mentioned, a collaboration between Sorcery Synthetics, aka uh, Ben Jarvis, and Mobula Mobula, Gregory Pruden. And I've reviewed the ROT LFO from Mobula Mobula uh, just last week, and that's a great little LFO. Uh, I can't recommend enough. And we've had Gregory uh, as one of our guests on the Modular Clubhouse as well. Um, and I promised to review the Buff Jarvis as well. And at first I thought, oh, well, this is just another buffered malt, or I just thought it's just going to be a multiple, and that's going to be very quick to uh, to review. But this module has some really neat tricks up its sleeve and I can't wait to show you. So I would say, well, make sure you're sitting down and um, here we go. So here we have Buff Jarvis up close and personal. And let me just quickly run you through what we see here. So we've got three attenuators. Uh, we've got three switches that have a positive a neutral or a zero and a negative value that they can select. Then we have three inputs and nine outputs and those outputs can then be numbered by A1, B1, C1, uh, A2, etc, etc, all the way down to C3. So what I want to do is I just want to show you and let you hear what this actually does. So what I've done is I've taken the ROT LFO again by Mobula Mobula and I'm going to use that to well actually show you and well educate you on what this module can do. So I've got a sine wave coming from the ROT LFO and I'm using that as an input. And if I then grab one of the outputs, you'll see that that's going to be the exact same value as that one and the reason for that is because I've got the first switch in the positive position and I've got this attenuator all the way to the right to the well, to the clockwise side if I put that at the 12 o'clock position you'll see that we now have a well, approximately 50% uh, attenuation so if I then turn up the sound as well we, and we now have that value modulating the cutoff frequency for the Z2040 uh, low pass filter, which is then being fed by the harmonic shift oscillator by new systems instruments. So that's a, a pretty nice sound that we already get in. So if we go all the way back to the, to the maximum, the exact same one, cutoff frequency being modulated just like the LFO would do. If we go to the halfway position, it's 50%. So we can also, instead of just using A1, I could use B1 or C1. And the same is true for uh, all of the second and the third values there as well. So all the way down to C3, all of these would have the exact same well, signal that they can work with. So this is now essentially a one to nine buffered malt, which is sometimes really useful if you want to use this for, um, for percussion modulation or anything else. But where this module really shines is if you take into account that this is not just an attenuated malt, but this can also be used as a mute. So I'm just actually muting and stopping any sort of modulation coming through. So we now get a true zero value out of any of these that you might want, except the B and the C ones, because those have not been muted. And those are still in the positive position. I can, of course, also mute that one. And the same is true for C. If I go there, I can also mute that one. So now all of the outputs are muted. So let's uh, go back and put all of them in the positive position. Go back to A1. We also have a negative position. So which actually inverts the signal. So we have a way to have 
an attenuated value of that, but also an inverted one. So this then essentially becomes an attenuverter. I'm just going to let the uh, the cycle go through so you can actually see how that uh, responds. And then, of course, the attenuation, that, that stacks up as well. So do keep in mind that the Buff Jarvis offers two well, modes of operation. One is, as I have it right now, so everything is cascading downwards from A to B to C. But you can also have completely separate channels and that's, you can achieve that by just well, changing the switch or uh, a jumper actually on the back side of the, uh, the module. Well, that being said, let's put this at the 50% mark. So we have instead of a, well, let's call it a 100% modulation, we now have a 50% modulation. If we then go to B, we get the exact same value because this is still at the 100% mark. But if I put that at the 50% mark, the, the, well, the, the 12 o'clock uh, position, we now have a 50% times 50% equals 25% uh, modulation happening which is of course well quite logical if you uh, consider that this is a cascading one if you then go to c you have that at the well, maximum clock, uh, clockwise position we still have the 25 but if we then change that to the 12 o'clock mark we have 50 percent times 50 percent times 50 percent is 12 and a half percent so you can actually achieve quite nuanced modulations uh, by just using this cascading functionality within that. If you then also combine that, that you can actually decide when you want to invert it as well, you can achieve great little things with just this great little module. If you combine this with your slew limiter, if you combine this with uh, an LFO like the ROT LFO by Mobula Mobula, you can do great things. Just imagine that you have uh, three essentially well three attenuverters available to you as well so if you combine that with a double slew limiter you essentially get your mats functionality by just combining two or maybe three modules there as well so that's a great approach there you've got a triple one to three molt buffered molt in this as well You've got a 1 to 9 molt if you want. You've got a 1 to 6 and a 1 to 3 molt if you want it. This is just so damn versatile and pardon my French please. But this really offers a lot of value and I can only applaud uh, Ben Jarvis for thinking up this module and I can only applaud Mobula Mobula for creating this as well. And well as some of the mobile phone manufacturers would say one more thing let's say if you don't have any sort of input so i'm just going to move the input that we have from a to b so we still have that being cascaded down from b to c as well but we have no sort of input on a but if i then get one of the outputs from a that will then get depending on the stance of the switch and the stance of the uh, attenuator either a plus 10 value that you can attenuate down so if you ever wanted to have oh I just want to have a, a a voltage that I could just manually change well you now have that and you don't have just have one of them no you've got three of them because I can do this for the first one I can do that for the second one And you can do just anything you might want to do. And then, of course, if you flip that switch, you have a negative 10 value, which you can then attenuate as well, all the way up again. So this module has so much tricks up its sleeve. It is, it's something every rack can use, in my humble opinion. And whether you're just starting off with your rack or whether you're a seasoned veteran, I think that this is something that everyone should consider. And I think that Ben from Sorcery 
and Gregory from Mobula Mobula really delivered on the buff Jarvis and I, uh, I hope a lot of people will agree with me and uh, find their way to, uh, to, their, uh, to their shops as well. So that being said, let's go back to the, uh, to the studio and let's wrap this up, shall we? Thanks so much. Be right, in, be right back. Cheers. So I truly hope you enjoyed this review or this deep dive on the, well, the buff Jarvis by Sorcery and Mobula Mobula. Uh, I truly enjoy working on this and truly getting to know this great little module. There is a lot more coming from Mobula Mobula, so I would always recommend everyone to uh, please subscribe to that channel and also have a look at their Instagram and their Facebook pages. They've got some great little modules coming up and I'm looking forward to review those as well. Um, for now, I would please say, well, as always, keep an eye on the, um, on the channel, make sure you like and subscribe, that will help me tremendously. And for you personally, I would like to ask, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you for my next video. Cheers.